The radicalization of Kwesi Balagoon began in 1967, after his honorable discharge from the U.S. Army. For two years, he worked as a tenant organizer, but says he became so overwhelmed by the misery and frustration he found in New York City slums, he turned to the justice of the bomb and the gun and went underground. In 1969, he was one of the original Black Panther 21, accused of plotting the bombings of police stations, and received a long sentence in that case and the armed robbery of a New Jersey bank. He escaped from prison twice, but Balagoon, then known as Donald Weems, did not reach presidential attention until October 20th, 1981, when the Black Liberation Army, of which he is a member, and remnants of the Weather Underground stole $1.6 million from a Brinks truck in Nanuet, New York. In the process, he and his comrades killed two police officers and a guard. One of the police officers was black. You didn't care about those people that you killed. No, I didn't care that much about them, you know. You know everybody who got shot that day was armed. Everybody who was shot that day woke up that morning with the realization that they might get shot that day or have to shoot somebody that day. In his first television interview, Kwesi Balagoon discussed his dream of a black homeland the Republic of New Africa that would be created from five southern states, Mississippi, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, and Louisiana. He gave up long ago on integration, calling the U.S. an evil empire, racist to the core. A black uh, astronaut or black Miss America or black president is not the point. We're talking about 40 million people, and we, and uh, if, 40 million people examine the conditions that the masses of us are, are under. They will have to come to the conclusion that we are colonialized. Kwesi Balagoon has nothing but praise for his revolutionary comrades. But as for those who turn state's evidence, like Sam Brown, he says they will be dealt with as traitors. We should have killed them. And nothing else could have happened to us, you know. But in any event, that's what should happen, you know. You know, and that killed him was error. You know, we should have killed him and took responsibility for it. Balagoon added there are enough people in the streets to take care of Brown and others he calls traitors if he can't. Balagoon says there is no shortage of recruits or weapons. What is your feeling about suicide bombings against U.S. installations in Beirut? I think it's beautiful. I, I thought that thing with the truck was uh, incredible, you know, the, you know, when they drove the truck into the embassy. Yes, that's, I, I like that, you know. I think uh, we have a lot to learn from them, you know. And uh, we will. It is cold at Attica, a sterile, inhospitable place, even for a hardened revolutionary. But Kwesi Balagoon is likely to spend the rest of his life here. He will not be eligible for parole until he is at least 110. Alec Roberts, Independent Network News, Attica, New York.